Hi, welcome back to this video series where we are determining if Microsoft Fabric is the right tool for our organization. Now that we've we had some bit of understanding on what Microsoft Fabric is, let's look a bit into the capabilities of Microsoft Fabric. And in this video, I'll be showing us how we can sign up for Microsoft Fabric. So under the Fabric web page so to get to this web page again on your google browser you can just type microsoft fabric and you can click on the very first link you get data analytics microsoft fabric that will take you to this page on my screen now under the capabilities what are some of the capabilities you have in microsoft fabric you have data integration you have data engineering capabilities it allows you to design system to help your organization and analyze large volume of data it has data science capabilities so you can use ai tools to build end-to-end -end workflows you have data warehouse capabilities so scale compute and storage independently with industry leading sql performance real-time analytics so you have real-time intelligence you can get your data in real time you have business intelligence, you can visualize your data, and you have co-pilot capabilities in Microsoft Fabric. In Microsoft Fabric. Now, you can easily click on any on this link on the page to learn more, but we are going to, in this video series, we are going to be talking about some of these capabilities as we progress in this video series. Okay. So, on the Fabric page, how can we get started with Microsoft Fabric? A situation where you've not worked with Microsoft Fabric before, but you need to sign up for Microsoft Fabric. The best, the easiest way to sign up for Microsoft Fabric, you have this try for free button. Now, if you click on this try for free button right, right here, you'll be navigated to a page now, once you click on try for free, you'll be navigated to this page where it will ask you to sign to sign in with your work account and you should check if you already have a fabric fabric subscription or if not, you will need to sign up for a fabric subscription. So right now I'm going to just enter an email address, an email address, and I'm going to click on submit. Now, I know this email is not linked to my Microsoft Fabric account. So the next stage, it will take me to the sign up, sign up page if it's not linked to my Microsoft Fabric account to check. Once it checks that and it confirms this isn't, this doesn't already have a Microsoft Fabric subscription, I'll be navigated to this Fabric sign up page. Now, it's important to note for you to sign up, you should have a work or a school a school email address. So for me to sign up for Fabric, what I could do is I could click on this, sign up, sign in with a work email address and click on create, create my account. The moment I sign in, the next step of creating my account is, is very easy and straightforward. Then it will confirm my details as well. Now you can try out this process and you can drop a comment if you if you had any issues trying this out with your work account as well. Now in the next video, we will also be talking about beyond signing up for Fabric. For you to use Fabric capabilities, you need Fabric to be enabled for your organization. And in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about how we can enable Microsoft Fabric for our organization. Stay tuned.